How everyone, today I want to talk about a new plugin. It is still in beta, but uh, I already found it very interesting. And it is called the Obsidian Canvas Style Menu. What it does is that it allows you to style your canvas, uh, canvas node without using any CSS. And it adds up a couple options uh, in your menu and lets you style the nodes. So in this video, I will talk about um, how to install it, how to use it, and how it works. Uh, so it's quite interesting because it happens after a few days. I, I I think it's like right after, yeah, it's on the same day, exact same day after I did a video about uh, the Canvas Candy. And the author Michael said that he created a plugin that allows you to style Canvas without using CSS. So, oh, it actually uses CSS, but it doesn't need any of uh, these CSS classes here uh, in the front matter. So let's do it right now. Let me show you. First, you need to install Brad because it is not uh, officially released yet. And then you copy the URL and then paste it here. After you add the plugin, you go to community settings style menu and then you enable it you enable it already and then i let let's let me create a new node and then you can see that there are a couple options appear here and then let's say i can click circle and then you can see that it changed to circle and it doesn't have any class names here but the thing is that you can see that uh, the problem is that like when, when it changed the shape to circle, uh, even, even when the node is in edit mode, now it is in edit mode, I can type things, I can type things, but still it is in circle. So some, some part is trimmed. So I guess like, uh, like one thing that can, uh, that Michael can do is basically center everything in, in the middle or um or he can uh make the css such that uh when when the node is in edit mode uh it it will always remain triangle but this is really cool because it allows it add a couple options here you can change the angle you can change the angle you can change the transparency let's say i have another nodes here i change it to i change the color to green and then, yeah, you can see that it's transparent. This node is transparent right now. And then there's some other effect. This is the, the glow effect, I guess. Highlight effect. Change the color to purple. Uh, you can change the border as well. You can change it to dashed. You can see that now the, the border is dashed. Right. Yeah, but uh, I think the only problem is that uh, it's styled the edit mode as well. So when I go to the Canvas Candy file, uh, these files are, are styled by Canvas Candy. You can see that when I click on it, it becomes a rectangle uh, again. So it doesn't matter. Like, um, like so you can s still edit it like correctly. And the canvas style menu also allow you to uh, change the menu item as well by yourself. Basically, like each items here is is uh, is is an option in in the menu. So there is six extra option, and then you can change the icon, you can change the title, you can change the class names, represent to represent by this option. And then for each option, you can have submenu. Uh, for example, the border, there, there are default dash, uh, no border here. And then for the transparency, there's like opacity zero, transparent, default, right? And if, if, if I go to, uh, if I go to the development two, right? Just now I changed the shape to circle, right? 
so if I click this and then select this you can see that all uh, the canvas node is changed to circle you can see that there's a CS background transparent CS border dashed and CS rotate lab 45 and CS shape circle and yeah and even if you restart reload the app and then and then come to this uh, file again All right come uh, it will still show here so it will not disappear it is saved in the canvas file and how how, how does it do how, how does the plugin work is that so uh, let, let me search it so if I go check out the code you can see that there's a canvas save this canvas request save so basically when you change the node it will set the data on canvas and then request the canvas to save it and so let me remove this node let me remove this node and then if I open this node on canvas this untitled there's nothing in the in in the canvas right so if I create some node create a node here you can see that now there's a node created the text is something like this and then if I change the shape to circle you can see that the shape is added to is added as the CS shape circle and it is saved in the canvas file and that's why it doesn't needs any CSS classes for matter like canvas candy and this is super handy I think this is the way uh, to, to go and I think that um, it's just so simple like if you if you look at the plugin it's just four files and it works as it should be and I think that uh, Obsidian team should really try to add this feature as default because it is just four files I don't understand why the Obsidian teams don't want to do it and and yeah I think this sum up the video and I hope you like this video and and if you like this video uh, please like and subscribe my channel and see you next time bye